It's Joe Zekas. I'm in the car with Yo Val, and we're headed back towards our office. We just passed uh, on North Avenue the great statue of uh, the Standing Lincoln at the south end of Lincoln Park. It's called the Standing Lincoln as opposed to the Seated Lincoln, which is in Grant Park. We're now on Clark Street. We're going past the Chicago Historical Society, which is a great place to take your kids when you're young and a great place to irritate them when they turn teenagers. You're looking east into Lincoln Park, the south end of the park where the Historical Society was, uh, was at one time a uh, Civil War burial ground, and a number of bodies had to be uprooted when the park was created. We're turning right onto the extension of LaSalle Drive that uh, heads towards Lakeshore Drive, and we're going to turn left into the park proper in just a second. You're looking at high rises along North Avenue and to the left uh, along Lakeshore Drive. We're turning left onto Stockton Drive. I believe that's a statue of Ulysses Grant that we just passed. And we're at the south end of Lincoln Park. It stretches north through uh, about 1,200 acres and almost uh, five miles, six miles along the shoreline at this point. The park is uh, just a series of indescribable wonders in the summertime and, and in the wintertime. There are more activities here than one can be, even begin to describe, and it comes alive and thrives with life. We're passing now the Lincoln Park Zoo. If uh, you or the kids feel a need to pet something, this is the place to go. You can pet a cow, you can pet a goat, uh, you can try to pet a chicken if you're so inclined. Over to the left there are bocce courts and there are still people who uh, play bocce in Chicago. We're coming up, uh, now you can see Cafe Brower. The uh, ballroom there on the second floor is uh, on the National Register of Historic Places. It overlooks South Pond where you can rent paddle boats. And we're coming up more towards the uh, more dense built up parts of the Lincoln Park Zoo. Lincoln Park Zoo has free admission. It's only one of two in the United States that offers that, the other being the National Zoo in uh, Washington. Passing an area where there are waterfowl and ponds behind the fences. Coming up towards the Children's Zoo, which again is a, a great place to take the kids in the summertime, and you're passing now the main entrance to the zoo. coming on to the formal gardens that mark the south end of the Lincoln Park Conservatory and fairly soon you'll see the glassed in conservatory. Off to uh, the left and you really couldn't see it as a seated statue of Shakespeare and you would have also have passed a statue I believe of Goethe towards the uh, south end of the gardens. Here's the conservatory now it's a great place on a cold winter day and uh, even fun on a uh, warm summer day. We're about to reach Fullerton Drive, which would probably be one of your main access paths to the park if you were coming from the west from the expressway. You'll see a bus stop. There's great public transportation access along uh, Stockton Drive, which we're driving on, and uh, Cross town through uh, through the city to uh, reach here from almost any point in Chicago. Off to the right, just up ahead, uh, there are fly casting ponds, and you're looking at the uh, Peggy, the fairly newly built Peggy Note Bart uh, Nature Museum. has a variety of interesting exhibits, some of them that change uh, seasonally. Off to the right is North Pond. The park itself was largely designed by Frederick Law Olmsted, who also designed Central Park in New York and Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. 
The park uh, shares many of the characteristics of Central Park in that there are private secluded nature trails. We're nearing the North Pond Cafe, which is uh, open year-round for dinner except for Mondays and uh, Sunday brunch and lunch during the summer months. It's a great place because the, the views of the skyline are beautiful and the setting itself is beautiful and quiet and peaceful. And You're now coming up towards uh, Lakeshore, uh, 2800 Lakeshore and Commonwealth Plaza. The twin buildings on, on the left uh, were designed by Mies van der Rohe. All of these buildings fronting the park at this point have just uh, dazzling views looking south. We're stopping and we're going to be heading now towards uh, Sheridan Road. You're looking... Uh, off to the right at a statue of Alexander Hamilton, who's uh, facing south, probably because he likes to look at the money, having been the first uh, Secretary of the Treasury and largely creating the monetary framework uh, for the early United States. And we're about to approach Diversity and head into uh, the high-rise canyon that begins at Diversity.